since the internet has grown to know me as the go-to animal expert, I figured I would start breaking down situations that could have been avoided because people don't know how to properly deal with animals. Today we're going to be looking at bison rips pants off woman in violent attack caught on video. <laughs> I've seen similar... I've seen similar style of titles on uh, other websites. Not that I go on those websites. So this video is on the New York Post. I'm not sure who actually filmed the video, but they were using a potato to film it because the quality is absolutely atrocious. Mind you, I can't really talk because the quality of my camera is also atrocious. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with it. All right, let's full screen this bad boy. Get right into it. Okay, we're gonna stop it right there. Okay, if they're staring at you like this, let me tell you something about bison. I think the most confusing thing about bison is the fact that whoever designed them thought, oh, let's make a 2,500 pound animal be as skittish as a mouse. Let, let's have them throw their weight around and destroy everything in their path when they get scared by a slight gust of wind. Probably shouldn't go near them. However, there's more to it, so I'm just gonna play the rest of the video here. A lady up there is trying to call this woman right here buffalo over to her oh good let's uh <laughs> there's little kid bison i don't know what they would be called probably a calf i'm not sure though um i i primarily focus on animal attacks and the anatomy of how to stop them i don't really kind of worry about the finer details like that but there's a baby bison here which this thing, you can't tell because of the potato camera, is probably giving this woman here a, uh, a, a side eye of... Sorry, there's a fly. It's giving her a side eye and saying, Take one step closer to my child, and I will throw you 300 feet into the air. are you doing? I might be getting her death on camera right now. You might be. That is true. I'm going to kill oh this fly. Oh my god, it got her. Yep. Oh. her. Holy Oh my god. Oh. Don't. <laughs> I ripped her pants off. She has no pants on? No, not anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> she's unconscious. Uh, no, she's fine. She'll get Jesus up. Jesus Christ. Um. She got too there's, there's a little movement there. She's okay. Yeah. Let's actually find out if she is okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why you don't get near bison. Oh, what do we got here? He got her pants. <laughs> Yo, okay, one second. This dude right here. See this dude right here? He's probably holding this woman's pants like... <sighs> and you know, it's not the first time he's probably had a call like this. Might be the first time the pants have ever been removed, but I I'm pretty sure this man right here has dealt with this exact situation before. Okay, let's read into the article a little bit more. Uh, the woman was flown to hospital on a helicopter and is expected to recover... Okay. Okay, so she's fine. Right. Okay, so let me break it down from my logic as to why I don't think any human being should ever be gored by a bison. Number one, what I'm curious about is their diet. So let's have a look at that. Bison di grasses. There's a big surprise. A bison's diet is 93% grass. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I should just stop there, because if you're going to lose a physical confrontation with something that literally just eats grass, come on now, that's not good enough. So we've already established that its diet is not superior to our diet as human beings. So let's have a look at their brain size, I'm kind of curious about that. Okay, the midbrain particle in the tectum, whatever that is, is outstanding. The superior, I don't know what that word is, appear to be the largest reported for any mammal and occupy most... Oh, really? Oh, so they are quite smart. Okay, I'll give them that. Apparently, they have a large brain compared to most mammals. So let's... Uh... But here's what I want to know. How many... Nobel Prizes have bison won. Okay, I'm scrolling through and I'm not seeing a single bison that has ever won a Nobel Prize. 
So that's actually kind of disappointing because if you think about it, if their brain is so big and they're not able to apply it to even win one Nobel Prize, it's kind of pathetic. So, so far we have a creature that eats nothing but grass and has contributed nothing to the scientific community. I have zero sympathy for this woman. If you're going to lose to a creature like that, you need to grow up. Right, there's one more thing I want to try. You know what? I'm going to do a live demonstration because I can sit here and, and talk my crap all day. You know what I'm saying? But until I actually get up and go have a physical confrontation with a bison and show you what to do, nobody's going to believe me. So I'll be right back. I will now approach the bison like the lady in the video. Notice how the bison looks like it's about to charge. Move out of the way. It's not that difficult. And now the bison's jaw is directly in line with my straight right hand. Honestly, guys, pathetically simple, two steps, get the program, it eats grass, I don't... Okay, I think we have established that I am 100% in the right here. I am 100% correct in saying that it is absolutely pathetic to lose to a grass-eating, non-progressive, whatever creature you want to call it. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think to myself, the woman that got attacked by the bison, if you're going to lose to something that has that kind of credentials that I just listed off, I would like to bring into question if that woman even has sentience. I cannot see somebody as a sentient being who comes from the top of the food chain. you got to understand, our species is the top of the food chain because of our brain. If you're going to get gored by something like a bison, are you even of, you're not even subpar intelligence. You're, I genuinely think you might not be sentient. The beast attacked the 54 year old Iowa woman at Custer State Park in South Dakota. Okay, so starting off, she's from Iowa. You know, it's not like you don't have experience with cattle. Your entire state is a cornfield. And then Custer Park in South Dakota. I mean, now you gotta bring into the question of her sanity of who would actually go to South Dakota. She was apparently saved when her pants came off and she fell to the ground unconscious. You know, I know a lot of people that would actually enjoy having their pants ripped off and being rendered unconscious. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. If you're one of those people, please message me, DM me on Instagram. Look, at the end of the day, I am happy she's okay. Okay. <laughs> this guy is me. Just chilling, shirtless, hands on the hips. Just watching this whole scene unfold, not a care in the world. This man right here is a legend as far as I'm concerned. This one right here, not not, not a legend. Got beat up by a grass eater. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my first attempt at lawn form content. If this goes well, I'm definitely willing to do more, 100%. I welcome you to the new channel. I'm gonna give this channel a try. I did wanna keep my other channel just cause I like playing the video games, but I know it's not for everybody. At least this way we can both learn stuff together. I mean, well, I know everything, but you guys can learn stuff from me, an expert. Like I said, I do have a degree in being an animal expert. I will put it right here on the screen so you can see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If we do this again, I'll see you next episode.